when you take refuge, you say that you're going to take the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha as examples. They found true happiness through developing, or the Buddha and the Sangha found true happiness by developing qualities in their minds that we have too. The problem is that ours are undeveloped. And so we looked at their example and we looked at the teachings of the Dharma to figure out how they developed those qualities. The Buddha was a person of wisdom, purity, compassion. So we try to develop some wisdom, purity, and compassion in ourselves. And it turns out that we develop these qualities by looking for happiness in a way that's wise and circumspect. In other words, we're not taking refuge in the idea that we have to sacrifice our happiness for the well-being of others. As the Buddha said, true well-being is found when you look, for, look after your well-being and the well-being of others as well. So your search for happiness is not selfish, but you do, you do benefit from it. You're wise when you ask that question, what I want to do it will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness, realizing that long-term is better than short-term, and it is possible. It's not just that happiness comes and goes blip, blip, blap, blap, just like that without any reason. It comes from a reason. It comes from your actions. And so you look to your actions to make sure they really are harmless. Because if your happiness depends on other people's harm, they're not going to stand for it. Your happiness is not going to last. This is why compassion comes from wisdom. And then as you check to make sure that your actions really are in line with those principles, that's how you develop purity in your thoughts, in your words, in your deeds. So the Buddha showed the way. Now it's up to us to follow the way. When we say that we take refuge in Him, He doesn't come around and, and pick us up in His arms and take us away. We have to reach Him. This is why we say we go to Him for refuge. We go to Him by developing these qualities in the mind and in our actions. So as you're meditating right here, think about that. You're making yourself worthy of having a refuge, because when you develop these qualities, then you're safe. You've internalized the qualities. They become yours. That's when your refuge is really secure. As long as your refuge is outside, you still have to go running to it in order to find it. Sometimes it seems far away. You want to make sure that you're close. That's the meaning of the word ubasaka, ubasaka, ubasika, someone who's close. And you're close through your behavior. You're close to your refuge. So as you go through the day, remind yourself you have an example for how, for how to find happiness. Whatever the question comes up, what are you going to do now? Look for happiness in a way that embodies wisdom, compassion, purity. And you won't be disappointed. And you won't be exposing yourself to dangers. This is how the refuge becomes secure.